On May 9, 2012, the U.S. Navy and Missile Defense Agency achieved another successful intercept of a ballistic missile target from the sea. Flight Test Mission 16 Event 2A was the first intercept test to validate the performance of the second-generation Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Aegis BMD system. This system incorporates an advanced ballistic missile defense BMD signal processor along with upgraded BMD 4.0.1 shipboard computer programs to improve radar signal and data processing, providing capability against increasingly longer range and more sophisticated short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. The second generation system also includes a more advanced missile, the SM-3 Block 1B. This SM-3 Block 1B missile includes an upgraded kill vehicle with improved engine, seeker, and processor. The two-color infrared seeker improves sensitivity for longer range threats, high-speed processing for multiple targets, and robust performance against more sophisticated threats. The advanced signal processor increases data processing capability to sort out and analyze the information gathered by the upgraded seeker. The new divert engine, TDAX, provides more flexible divert intercept maneuvers. Combined with the enhanced data provided by the BMD 4.0.1 Aegis Weapon System, support discrimination and intercept of more advanced threats. These improvements build on the success of the Aegis BMD program and the first generation BMD 3.6 and SM3 Block 1A currently fielded in over 27 Aegis ships worldwide. This first-generation system is currently deployed, supporting the European Phased Adaptive Approach Phase 1 and other combatant commanders' requirements. The new BMD signal processor builds on over a decade of research and testing using high-range resolution test modifications to the Aegis radar. The missile upgrades have been tested in captive carry tests and ground tests, preparing for the first live flight test mission. Following Rear Admiral Meyer's dictum of build a little, test a little, learn a lot, the Aegis BMD improvements have been matured and integrated into the second generation system and prepared for the first intercept flight test. The ARAV-A target was launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility on the island of Kauai. The target flew a nominal trajectory. The USS Lake Erie was positioned over 250 nautical miles off the coast. Based on mission planner inputs, the ship's crew programmed the SPY-1 radar to perform a search optimized for the BMD mission. As the target rose above the horizon, the SPY-1 radar acquired the target and placed it in track. The BMD signal processor provided the system with more enhanced data than previously available. Using this data, the Aegis BMD weapon system developed the fire control solution, and the ship's crew readied the ship for missile launch. Several minutes after target launch, the ship's crew fired the SM-3. The missile completed booster burn and separation, followed by second stage rocket motor burn and separation. An airborne camera tracked the missile throughout most of its flight. During this stage of flight, the Aegis BMD weapon system uplinked guidance commands to the SM-3. After second stage separation, the third stage rocket motor ignited, propelling the SM-3 up out of the atmosphere and into space. After the first pulse burned out, the missile pitched over and ejected the nose cone. Then, the missile pitched back towards the target. Throughout the third stage flyout, the SM-3 received enhanced target complex data from the Aegis BMD weapon system. Roughly 30 seconds prior to intercept, the kinetic warhead was ejected from the third stage. After separation, the TDAX was initiated. The KW acquired the target with the two-color sensor and began tracking and performing divert maneuvers. The target image grew in the field of view. Mark India, another direct hit. Mark India, track 80011. Another improvement is real-time display to the crew on success of the intercept.
provided by the kill assessment system. Actual telemetry from the KW is received by the modified MK99 fire control system and used to aid the sailor in determination of the kill. Numerous ground, sea, and air-based platforms observe the intercept. The energy from the hit-to-kill impact is calculated to be in excess of 125 megajoules, the equivalent of a 10-ton truck traveling over 600 miles per hour. Another successful intercept for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense, which further validates the deployed Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense engagement capability. The engagement again validated the capability to intercept a ballistic missile target. This test was an important step for the second generation Aegis BMD system. Further testing next year will continue to confirm operational effectiveness and suitability, leading to deployment in support of the phased adaptive approach Phase 2. The Missile Defense Agency and the U.S. Navy are continuing to improve and deploy this Aegis BMD capability and are on course to fulfill the commitments of the phased adaptive approach. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. On target and forward deployed.